Hello, welcome to the video. And we've got something a little bit strange today in that we're going to try and repair a bit boy. Now this particular bit boy is my son's and he has absolutely destroyed the charging port as in it's no longer in there although it is rattling so let's have a look here and i've never been inside one of these let's see if we can't okay so it's got a, got a battery wrap that out it looks like there's just some small screws. And, yep, yeah, that's not going to fit. Let's try a smaller screwdriver. No. Okay. That's not going to fit either. So. We have to get serious. Right, so after a quick search, we're going to use an iFixit driver, and this should, yeah, let's get this apart. So it looks like it's just six screws here. We should be able to just remove those without too much grief. There we go. Not at this apart, so don't know what to expect. Although well, it should just be a case of replacing a micro USB port. I know it's technically not retro, but it plays retro games, so that's close enough for me. Oh, and we've got a spinner. It's four. Five and six. There we go. Oh, okay. This is the inside of a bit boy, and there's not a lot to it, I must admit. Although, I do suspect that charging port shouldn't be up there. Oh dear. So he has absolutely ripped the arsehole out of that. Yeah, that has definitely seen better days. Okay, so what are we going to do? Well, the only thing we can do, bust out the soldering iron in a bit. Right, well, here we are. And here is the old one. I found something similar, but I've just had to bend the pins in order to make it look like it'll fit. Um, so if we have a look on here, I don't know how well this will come out. As you can see along the bottom here, um, all these pins are meant to be straight. They're completely twisted now. So let's have a look idea. No, wait, wrong way. There we go. So yeah, they're, they're all twisted up. Look at that. And you've got a couple of lugs on here. You've got one there, one there. Well, the new one didn't have them in the same place. So I had to literally bend the metal out of the way. So if I just do that, we can see what I've done here. And a like mess of it. Okay, so these two lugs, um, either side, you can see here, and here, there, uh, yeah, I've had to bend them back myself with these pair of pliers. At the bottom here, I've had to um, bend this and this outward in order to sit back on the board. So hopefully when I solder these in place, it should all tie up nicely. But yeah, the ports are not quite the same. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the soldering iron out and uh, clean up the bit boys motherboard, um, which looks a bit of a mess. Right, so, 
here. Um, this has got a broken stud as well, so I'm going to re-solder that. But here is where it came off, and as you can see, it doesn't look too good. And that's what it looks like. So, yeah, I'm going to have to clean up the pads and try and get the other one in the same place. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to get the soldering iron on and uh, fire it up. Alright, so, yeah, I don't hold out a massive amount of hope these cheap Chinese devices, but let's see if I can't clean up the solder pads. It's very, very difficult to do on camera. Okay. Right, this solder they've got in there, that's it, headbutt the phone. It's horrible. It's not really flowing as such. That seems to have cleaned them up a bit. Um, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to drop, put a drop of flux into that, I think. Just to try that. Okay, let's just have a, another little blat on that. Right, that seems to have got a lot of it off. Now what we've got to do is try and get the new connector to sit in its place. Now hopefully I've bent it right. So let me just offer that up. Okay. Hey. Well, yes and no. It's very hard to see. So let's pop it around this way. Um, let me just... So I'm gonna pop this underneath it so I don't right, there we go. Alright, it's really hard to see, and I've hit the camera again. Yeah. Although it will line up now, it's not the best fit. I'm really gonna, gonna struggle to get it in the right place, I think. So, I'm going to have to tack one side down. I don't see any choice. Just to hold it in place while I get the rest of it done. Um, yeah. Let's have a look here. I'm not going to go with a really small diameter solder. Because I think that's pointless for what I'm about to do. Because really, I just need to get the ground in. Which is one side. So, if I can just... Do that. All right. I'm going to try and manipulate it at the same time. Let's heat it. How does that look? Well, believe it or not, that doesn't actually look a million miles away. I have found something though, it really needs to be tacked from both sides by the look of it, which is going to be a pig. So for the time being, let's just try and get that leg in that. I know you're going to say, oh you've got loads of solder on there, no I just don't want it moving. And it is actually quite stable, however... The feet don't appear to be contacting very well on the uh, PCB. And it's probably a function of me bending the legs up. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to get a pair of tweezers. Actually, it's not. It's an optical illusion. Even though I've hit it again. 
think we're in the right place. Okay. So, plenty of flux. Look at that. Can we budge it? Yes, we can. Okay. We just heard it go. Right. You're thinking, what are you doing? You've just joined them all together. Ah. What we're going to do is that's only the first pass because I want to remove that now and hopefully capillary action will have left it underneath the pins good perfect now it's going to be hard to come out on here but believe it or not they're actually connected so I'm going to have another go this time though I'm going to go in with some 0.3, which is really fine. Now, I've just been using 0.7. I think that's got it. So, yeah. Now all I've got to do is get it apart to get to the other side. So I'm just going to take this off camera so I can inspect it properly. Because you can't do that while you're filming it. And then uh, I'll be back. Alright, so here I've got the bit boy out of its casing um, completely. And on this side you can see that it's not even connected at all. So that shouldn't be a problem. We should just be able to I didn't like that one little bit. I'll put a drop of flux on them. I'm gonna go in again. nice so I know that it's uh, it looks like quite a big bit of solder but it's actually to mechanically hold the port and before on the old one I don't know if you can see this but that was just sat in there that, uh, it's probably not focusing that wasn't even soldered in so that's probably why uh, it was so easy to break up so uh, yeah how about that? We're going to get it together and see if it charges. Right, so here we are. It's all done. Let's, uh, let's get it sparked up and we can see whether it's a, a win or a fail. Unfortunately, in order to get the battery in the right place, you've got to put it back together. So let's, let's just have a look and see how it looks. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. Um... I don't know if this is coming out well on camera, but that doesn't look like a bad repair for a bodge. So if I just put two screws in, that'll hold the battery compartment in place. And then we can check it out. Now, I don't know if you used a bit, but they're really nice little retro machines. So what I'm going to do, is I'll put my computer on so I've got a micro USB next to me. Alright, so what we can do is line up the battery like that. I mean you can see here that they're, they're tiny. You know what I mean, I've got small hands and yeah, so let's have a look. Okay. So 
something's happening. <whistles> Cha-ching, bit boy. Look at that. You can play some little games on there. Nice. Right, so where's the battery? It's over here. I don't know. Right, okay. That's uh don't know what'll happen, but right, I've got this micro USB plugged into my computer. Um it'll blow the arsehole out of something or not. Or not is the case. Cool. Okay, that's that's a bit worrying. Why doesn't that slot in there? Oh, it does. There we go. Right, I'm not quite sure what the deal is here, but the red lights come on there, so I'm gonna say it's charging. If I take that out. That goes back to green. And that's red. Yeah, I think... Well, I've uh, bastardised the plug. Oh, no, it is right. It is. Just needed a couple of insertions. There you go. And there it is. Red. Charging. So if we... How the hell do you turn this off? Suspend? What? Right, let's just turn it off. Okay. There we go. Unclean shutdown detected. Whoops, that'll be me. <whistles> ba bing with a fix I've made, even though I had to um, modify the actual footprint of the, the micro USB, I think I think this is actually probably a stronger fix than it was in the beginning. So uh, it's got quite a nice little screen on it. Go. No idea what this is. Well, I know it's Batman, obviously, but PC Engine. Yeah, look at that. Oh, emulator must be temper. So yeah, it's um, why suspend? Oh, it's back. There it is. So I'm going to judge that fixed, and uh, nice li nice little video. Um, how to fix a bit, boy, that you've never had a part before because your son's ripped the arsehole out of the charging socket. Nice. Okay. Excellent. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one.